Biting my nails, running my feet against the carpet, trying to inhale so I can float instead of falling. I'm running scared, feeling like a moving target. Oh, 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 oh. It's a minefield in my mind, and I'm headed for destruction. Mama, tell me it's alright before I turn to nothing. Alright, so what is it, YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. It's April 10th. Uh, it's 5.55. I'm about to go to the gym, and you may be wondering, hey, why were there not a shit ton of videos from spring break, like you said? And for that reason, I'll play the clip right now. But what basically happened was my back decided to not want to work with me any longer. During about uh, the second day of the actual spring break, so like Tuesday. I don't really know why it happened, but uh, yeah, my back just kind of like blew out. It wasn't really the worst thing ever. It wasn't like the last one that I had, um, but it definitely wasn't something that like I could just work out with. I needed to make sure that I stayed, I needed to make sure that I could stay healthy and have a good meat. Um, the main thing is just being able to lift because I qualify almost no matter what. So we did that. I'm back. Uh, I've been lifting for two days now. Um, so I apologize for not being able to put out a whole bunch of videos. I still got two done and then this one in the uh, frat nats or collegiate nationals is next. Um, and that's actually tomorrow. But yeah, so the lower back, I think it was just due to something that I think it was um, just too much fatigue. Um, cause my form didn't look any different on that than what it had the set before and I even put less stress on my body by putting on straps but my back still decided to just not work with me. It wasn't the biggest thing, um, like I said, because I'm back and I didn't do super heavy deadlifts yesterday but I still did, I went, um, I hit a PR on squats the other day so, um, overall everything's still going well. I just have to make sure that throughout this week I don't push it to the most extreme so that I can just let it heal. And I imagine in next week or the week after I'll be completely back to 100% and we're about four weeks out so that's pretty good. I have a pre-workout right here, it's the Ghost, um, Sour Apple and it's, it's honestly kind of growing on me. It tastes really good and it's not really sour at all unless you don't put any water in it But I'm pretty sure that's all pre-workouts. Um, I apologize for not being able to put out a whole bunch of videos But hopefully the next video makes up for a little bit because it should be a longer one um, Unless I split it up like I did for the Arnold, but it will be collegiate nationals It's one of the biggest meets the USAPL has and there will just be a whole bunch of mine and Cyrus's friends there So that's pretty hype again. You'll see Cyrus um and he's back, so like the whole he's leaving for a little bit should have been for like three or four more videos, but obviously my back blew out. I can't really do any lifting, so why record? But yeah, and another thing is that I'm down from about 138, 139 to weighing in at like 136, 135 in the morning. So I have about one to two more pounds and then we can just easy water cut the rest of the weight. I could probably water cut the weight right now being that I'm waking up at about 136, 135, um, but I'd like to take a little bit less stress off of that and just be able to do a calm water cut, nothing crazy. I don't want to have to be like waking up super early to spit in a bottle. I just want to be able to wake up, be underweight, and then go eat just a little bit because my training body weight will be at like 133 to 135, so it's not like I'll have to gain back a whole bunch of weight. Um, but yes, everything's going pretty smoothly. We just have bench day today. I wanted to record a video before Frat Nats just to give you guys an update, and that's what we're doing today. It's six o'clock now, and I should be at the gym already, but I'm not, so I'm just gonna be a little pissy. Gonna take this pre-workout, and I'll see you guys there. We have work at five, but gym at six. <laughs> I'm gonna take this back. All right. Guys, we are back. Oh, it took, I think, it was like two weeks. Longer than I anticipated it to be. It was gonna be supposed to be like a week and a half. 
it ended up being like two weeks. That's fine, it was fun. Um, I had work at five. I came straight to the gym. Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't want to be late, because I don't want to hear Hunter's freaking little mouth. Anyways, we're going to CNATS tomorrow night. Oh, we're going to Ohio tomorrow night, and then we're going to CNATS. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we'll see if we can record this new US USAPL rule. We shall see. I'm recording. They can kick me out. We'll, we'll like, we'll like sneak some. We'll sneak some footage in for you guys. Camera's dying. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Um, I we're gonna do accessories. Um, I signed up for a meet. Finally, uh, it's like the day after my birthday, so it's like July 13th. It's gonna be fun. Um, we're just kind of like taking training more. I wouldn't say I wasn't taking it serious. So I was just like doing like compound exercises and just doing volume and like I was hitting like off season PRs and stuff, but nothing where I was doing one one rep maxes. Um, I did do 225, which was cool. Twice this prep. So we're gonna go into the off seat, the power meat prep. And like, I'd say like May ish to April, obviously. Yeah. So that's gonna be fun. Hopefully, do like 353, 237, and then 480 and 420 is like the most realistic thing I can think of. And Ooh. it should be doable as long as I, you know, just be consistent. You know, consistency. I was falling apart. Yeah, I broke over make believe love. Let down my guard. Now I finally build it back up. Cause I've had enough, had enough. It's a minefield in my mind. And I'm headed for destruction. Mama, tell me it's alright. Before I turn to nothing. Gravity, please let go of me. Heavy on my shoulders, heavy on my shoulders Gravity rock me back to sleep It's not easy getting older, easy getting So currently, we are on the lateral raise machine because Cyrus doesn't know how to do upright rows or do lateral raises with dumbbells. So we have to teach him with this. I have no excuse. Um. Okay. So basically, from from the beginning of from the beginning of since me and him have been training, I've noticed that he has absolutely no base for like anything, right? So. If you guys have been on the channel for a long time, you'll see that I went from the team physique stuff, which is, I don't have a physique, but I train like that. Um, so I built up a really good base, which I could use for powerlifting, and having a good base for powerlifting is really important. Um, I think too many kids rush into just doing powerlifting and doing squat, bench, and deadlift almost only. Um, like Cyrus, right? He's got the um, base. And so he had no base, he has like no actual strength in any other movement, meaning that his potential not his genetic potential but his potential at the moment is very low and he's gonna plateau very easily because he you can only do so much when you don't have a base right like you can't build a house without a foundation it's just gonna sink through the fucking ground Cyrus is currently sinking into the fu fucking ground and he has a meet coming up so we gotta fix that um, this is comeback season part two 
comeback season, baby. Okay, he's, comeback season means you were actually there somewhere. He hasn't, he hasn't reached that point. But I have to teach him everything because he doesn't know. Nobody else here is going to teach him, and I know that I know how to do shit right. So let me just say something. Okay, so we spend most of our training studying like programming and like powerlifting stuff. When it comes to machines, I'm pretty much, I need to learn more. When it comes to any movement, not squat, bench, or deadlift, that's what he means. He's not so, talking about machines, he's not talking, like, <clears throat> machines, dumbbells, anything that's not bench, and it's an actual different variation, any variation of the movements, he doesn't know. Anyways, um, so I spend most of my time, like, researching, like, rehab stuff, and mobility stuff, uh, just to be, like, healthy in general, so we're just trying to learn more from Hunter without getting, uh, all, okay. All, <laughs> all of that is useful. But if you don't have a base, it doesn't matter. Like, you won't get to the point where you're gonna injure yourself from doing too much weight because My delt wrong. you can't oh, build. Right. But so I have to teach him how to do the movements and I have to teach him rest time. I have to teach him how to now. eat everything. Check this out, dog. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's just whenever you did dumbbells, everything just fell apart. This machine helped me. I know, and we're gonna keep you on this. We're probably going to keep you on machines until you can learn how to use your body. What's next? Alright, we just got done with accessories. Got a sick... Pump. Hold on. That's, that's my left arm, guys. Got a... Oh, God. That's not even better. We got a sick pump. Um, Hunter's teaching me, like, some bodybuilding stuff. I don't really have any excuse of why I don't really... I never really learned this. Like, I know, like, what they do, what muscles they do. In terms of, like, form and stuff, it's... it's, it's it gets bad. So he was showing me how to do a lot of raises and stuff. Um... Usually I just do it like straight like this, but he wanted me to like retract my scalpel and depression, you know, all these, these little things. But I really want to do good for my parlor to meet. And uh, I probably should have done this, you know. I, I was doing accessories granted, but I wasn't really like taking it seriously like Hunter was saying. So we're gonna try to do that and you know, hopefully kill it until I meet. I, you know, I want 353. Oh, I think I already said this actually. I already, I already said what my goal numbers were. Um, if, as long as I, you know, be consistent, keep eating, uh, surplus, everything should go well, you know? Uh, there's really no excuse for me, like, not, I wouldn't say, like, not progressing, because I, I was hitting, like, Aussies and PRs and stuff, but we're gonna get better today, boys. Comeback season part two? We never, we never really had a comeback, but, alright, guys. All right, so we're done at the gym. It's about 8.13. Um, I have to go home. I have about 700 calories left to eat, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to use that with a shake and probably some chicken and rice, maybe. That sounds pretty good. Um, but, yeah, it was a pretty good session. That 225 felt really good and looked pretty good um, from what I saw on camera. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, being that I can't even like brace or arch as much as I would like due to my back um, being still just a little bit strained but it was nice I could do that even after that injury um, anything is really improvement from what I was doing last week which was nothing um, next time I see the signs of being a little bit more fatigued then I will de definitely let Cyrus know um, I just assumed that it wouldn't be that bad and it, nothing bad would happen but um it did minor setback, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I'm still going to pull 500 at this meet and qualify easily for Raw Nationals. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys at the house with what I'm finishing off the day with. All right, so I'm getting the video ready to be edited for maybe tomorrow. It really just depends on whatever means I sleep for frat nats. Um, but I think I'm going to wrap, this, wrap up this video here. I did eat chicken and rice, and I think I'm 70 calories under. Um, and hit my protein, hit my carbs. I just had to get a little bit more fat um, in my diet to make sure that my hormone levels stay pretty consistent. But um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for all the support that you guys have put on all the other videos and all just the channel in general, sharing the videos, liking the video, commenting, everything like that. It really means a lot to me, and... And it's honestly just a dream for all you guys to be watching and to just be consistent. Um, I wish I could have posted a little bit more videos again, like I said before, um, during spring break because that would have been a really good time to record, but I got injured, so I can't really help that. But um, I do want to still maintain about one video a week, and if I could get two, I would obviously love it. I just have to be careful with um, 
how hard to push myself for these next few days to let my back heal. But Frat Nats will be the next video, and I'm super excited about that. It might be split into two videos, depends on how much you record. Um, if it's like 25 minutes and over, then I'll probably just make two videos at that point. Um, I don't mind making it a longer video, but at a certain point, nobody really watches. Um, so two videos might just be the way we go about it, because we'll be there for two days lifting and recording. So we'll, we'll honestly just have to see how it goes. But again, thank you guys for all the support. and. I will see you guys in the next one.